Today we are going to learn about the preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. This method involves four steps. Sodium oxalate solution preparation, potassium permanganate solution preparation, potassium permanganate solution standardization and calculation. For the preparation and standardization, we need a balance machine, hot air oven, burette with stand, conical flask, volumetric flask, funnel, glass dish, measuring cylinder or pipette, glass rod, beaker, desiccator, sodium oxalate, sulfuric acid and potassium permanganate. Let's start the preparation and standardization of 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. At first, we will prepare 0.1 normal sodium oxalate solution. Take small amount of sodium oxalate into a glass petri dish. Dry the sodium oxalate into a hot air oven at 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After drying, cool the sodium oxalate into a desiccator. After cooling, take the sodium oxalate immediately for waiting to avoid moisture absorption. Take 3.35 grams dried sodium oxalate into another glass petri dish. Dissolve the sodium oxalate in about 200 ml distilled water. Transfer sodium oxalate quantitatively by washing the dish several times. Swirl and shake the flask to dissolve the sodium oxalate completely. Add enough distilled water to make the final volume of 500 ml. Label the flask. 0.1 normal sodium oxalate solution is ready. Now we are going to prepare 0.1 normal potassium permanganate solution. Take weight of 3.2 grams potassium permanganate into a glass petri dish. Transfer the potassium permanganate into a glass beaker.
Transfer the potassium permanganate quantitatively by washing the dish several times with water. Now add 200 ml distilled water into the beaker. Stir the mixture with glass rod to dissolve the potassium permanganate completely. Transfer the dissolved potassium permanganate from the upper layer solution of the beaker into a volumetric flask. Add about 100 ml distilled water into the beaker and stir again to dissolve the undissolved residue of potassium permanganate. In this way, dissolve the residue of potassium permanganate completely and transfer into the volumetric flask. Add enough distilled water to make the final volume of 1000 ml. Swell and shake the flask to mix the potassium permanganate solution properly. Wrap the flask with aluminium foil to prevent the light exposure and keep the solution stand in dark for 2 days. Make a filter unit using glass wool and funnel. Take out the potassium permanganate from dark and filter the potassium permanganate solution using the glass wool filtration system.
Now we will standardize the potassium permanganate solution to know its actual normality. Fill a burette with potassium permanganate solution. Transfer 20 ml of the 0.1 normal sodium oxalate solution into a conical flask. Now add 5 ml of the concentrated sulfuric acid into the conical flask. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Heat the mixture in water bath at 70 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Take out the flask from water bath immediately for titration. Note the initial burette reading of potassium permanganate solution. Start titration while the sodium oxalate solution is still hot. Titrate the sodium oxalate solution by liberating potassium permanganate solution from the burette. Carry out the titration with vigorous agitation of the flask. Stop titration while the solution appears faint pink in color. The solution should read in pink color for at least 30 seconds. Note the final burette reading. It's time for the calculation. We used 0.1 normal sodium oxalate solution. That's why N2 is 0.1 normal. 
Volume of sodium oxalate solution V2 is 20 ml. Volume of potassium permanganate solution used in the titration V1 is Final burette reading 19.7 minus initial reading 0 which is 19.7 ml. Now we have to find the actual normality of the newly prepared potassium permanganate solution. By solving the equation, we get the actual normality of the potassium permanganate solution is 0.1015 normal. Let's correct the level of the flask containing potassium permanganate solution. Correct the level of the flask with actual normality of potassium permanganate solution.